Okay, so right now I am uh, in the menu settings um, for the camera. Um, obviously in record menu, I'm in um, quick autofocus mode right now. I can't bring up the menu. Um, but as you can see, it's really hunting right now. I'm in a 35 to 100 millimeter lens, uh, Mark Four Thirds on the Panasonic GH5S. Uh, ISO 800, but f2.8. Uh, 30 frames at 1080 at 30 frames per second. Um, so you see on the remote here and the um, uh, on the lens cap, it is hunting a little bit. It's at a 35 millimeter now. Zoom in into 100. It picks it up. It still wants to hunt a tiny, tiny bit there, as you can see. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go over to the chairs here. Okay, and chairs slowly getting in there, and then go over to the tapes. Right there. Okay, come back over to the chairs. Zoom in on the chairs here. It does a pretty good job. Uh, it does hunt a tiny, tiny bit, but I think it depends on um, how your lighting is. If it's a dim lighting like this, per se, so I'll hunt and actually find the Lysol wipes behind all that uh, scrim on the chair or silk. That's pretty interesting. Um, sanitizer wipes there. Uh, we'll go back into the remotes here, real quick. All right, and so it does pick up the remotes pretty good for the most part. Um, go on the back of the remote, so it picks it up. So as far as using this as a running gun type style, I think it is usable. Uh, it's not the fastest. It's not like Canon autofocus fast, but it's usable, I think, in my opinion. Um, but it does shift depending on the lighting too. But then again, every uh, every camera has, has autofocus. It's kind of prone to that for the most part. Um, you know, I know there's a whole bunch of videos on this, but this is kind of showing you just a different example instead of just the face it shows you kind of the um, color balance I have it set on auto white balance so it's kind of correcting itself and you're seeing how the easy autofocus is kind of handling it for the most part I think uh, I'm going to you know, stop recording here and um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to manual focus and show you uh, kind of a different way of focusing it so so here the easy autofocus is set off and right now I'm pressing the shutter button halfway down as you can see as I go it's gonna kind of kind of hunt for it um, this is more ideal for a running gun type style of shooting where you really want to like like b-roll for example really want to start you know um, get a quick uh, autofocus um, adjustment I did that a couple weeks ago want to shoot um, easier for me to on the b-roll side just to grab uh, quick autofocus points by pressing the shutter halfway down, um, which it actually held his focus for the most part. It was actually pretty quick considering. Um, so you can use the easy autofocus or just kind of press the shutter halfway down. Um, and you should be able to get, nine times out of ten, it does kind of lock on focus for the most part. You can see it's somewhat laggy, and I think it depends on the lighting as well. Uh, but for the most part, it works as long as you stay within the square box in the center. Um, so, I mean, is it is it faster than easy autofocus? It's hard to say. I think easy autofocus is a little more smoother, um, but this one is more definitely quick um, run and gun type style where you need to, you know, pull your uh, autofocus pretty quick. I think either one can work in a pinch, I think, for the most part. Um, so we'll go back over to the remotes here. Okay, and that's yeah, not, not too bad as far as on the focus, yeah. What you get in the center is going to center up, and focus up, um, whatever's in that center square, which is real nice. Um, you know, so autofocus, obviously, it's, it's not the best feature on this camera. It, it is uh, usable much better than in previous cameras, for sure, from Panasonic, uh, for the most part. Um, yeah, it picks up pretty nice, surprisingly. Um, but it depends on lighting as well. Uh, um, so that's kind of a quick um, review of the autofocus on a Panasonic GH5S.